Check this out. Sam's Club's come down to 99 cents. I don't I don't know I didn't I don't know if I caught the black guy on camera. Some guy is a driver parked next to two dumpsters behind the Sam's Club sitting there. They look the, the dumpsters look locked, so I don't think you can illegally dump. Strange. It's not a parking spot. It just parks there. It's suspicious to me. At this time in this area the weather's very pleasant. I'm not overheating after this walk. It's pretty decent. I was so warm where I was in Edwards Park. I was sweating and I stopped sweating now. I just walked into this bathroom in a cloud of vaping smoke. That black employee actually, he vaped. He came in here, vaped, and then exited. And then I walked into the smoke. Security officer sees this car parked here and nobody's in it. That's strange. I wonder if it's that lady standing in the corner. Somebody actually beeped at somebody here. I could see why they need security just in the less than a minute walking out the door. You know, I'm not I'm not sure which is worse, parking in the disability uh, parking stall or parking in a fire lane. All right, just walking a short distance from my car in the Walmart parking lot, and I hear this waterfall noise. It's probably man-made. You don't see too many waterfalls next to Walmart. Water goes underneath. Let's see if I can look underneath. There's a turtle. Go. Oh. Yeah. Alright, try again. The turtle might be dead. It's a thick barrier. <laughs> it's not even moving. This is kind of a cool spot. I bet people come down here just to, to sit, hang out. This is kind of a relaxing spot. The nice red earth. Could launch the drone right from here. When I was in Steamboat Springs, some guy told me that the the sun glows off of the Utah salt flats. The Utah salt flats makes the sun glow, and that's why the people in Steam, Steamboat Springs could could see uh, the, the the glow of the the sun in the particular way it, it, it glows on some nights in Steamboat Springs, Colorado, and I'm like, I see that same type of look on the Pacific Coast. You can't pull a fast one on me. I've seen it. He he uh, he could use that that little bit of mis misguided. Um, information with with somebody who's never been on the coast but I'm like you know that's ridiculous and it's just like the there's a guy I talked to who's like a land surveyor and he said that Texas has 10,000 foot mountains and I'm like I have a GPS I traveled all around Colorado that's where the 10,000 foot mountains are there's none in Texas some people are um, they might be misguided on um, like accidentally like they might not be trying to intentionally lie but uh you know you might want to 
um, like, be extra, extra sure before you say it. All right, somebody shut off an automatic weapon about six or eight, ten rounds off in the distance on the, I don't know, the right side of Walmart. That might get called in to the cops. That was weird. It sounded really close. It might be because it's close. It was one, one fire, and then the rest was automatic fire. Okay, I just got out of my car, and they they fired some more about four four or five more times when I got out of my car to have a, a bit of a look. It all... <laughs> It's strange. It, it must be the timing. I don't think they're shooting at me. I'm not hearing any pellets. I'm, I can hide behind the the soil. Oh my god! Come on! I took this off. Who's shooting? It's, it's like I sit in disbelief. There's a big open field off to the side of Walmart. It sounds, it sounds relatively close. I'm, I'm pretty much open. I don't see any movement besides cars driving. It's off in the field over there. Like they are shooting off the side of the road or something. It's on the other side of the fence. Strange. It almost seems like they're in the field. There is a fence they can't just walk on the Walmart, but they can definitely shoot off property. That should get some calls to the cops, I would think. Shooting near Walmart. I don't know what to think of this. I don't I don't have light above. So somehow this one went out. Yeah, everything else around me is lit up. That one down there is not, so it's maybe part of the row. I wonder if criminals who uh, are are pointed out on camera in in an interrogation uh, for conducting a crime of some kind, when they say "That's not me," they can actually watch themselves on camera and say "That's not me." Well, maybe maybe they're like. I'm right here. They're thinking, you know, I'm the person right now who's sitting right here watching. That person on the camera is not me. The person who is me is me. You know, they don't they don't think in, in um, abstractly like you know that is me who is recorded on camera. No, I that is not me. I am me. Quite a few different messages from these businesses about uh, closing for coronavirus. Kind of an interesting read. Wow, they just straight up say studio closed until April 1st? Yeah. Oh man, I don't know why. Oh, I see. I'm like, I can, I got a reflection. Alright, going to a uh, natural grocer's. I don't know if they're open. It's 9 a.m. I don't know if they'll be open or not. Check them out anyway. They're kind of few and far between. Oh my god. It might be too busy on this. It might be too busy to take a Turn left, left at the stop sign. on Penn. I really want this natural grocers because I can stock up on herbs. I'd like to have a delicious coffee if I may. 
maybe with peppermint or something. See that dog? All right, getting on to US 77 North. It's definitely different from Texas, getting onto the highway. Yeah, you'd normally take a left in Texas, the way they set it up. But there's a lot more circling around in Oklahoma. A federal highway that's just not standard on a federal level. It's state by state. Yeah, I got a circle all around here. It takes away an iner inertia. So I'm going in, I'm going into a 70 mile an hour highway at 30. They give me a good, a good long lane. Two sixty-two degrees entering Edmond, which is the outskirts of Oklahoma City. Yeah, I didn't uh, spend too much time in Oklahoma City. The weather is very agreeable. I hope to find a good park. I have one marked out. I just want to stop at this natural grocers and before I go to the park. Well, then also stop at another grocery store. This Walmart uh, I was at did not have catfish. Are you signed up with her? Now, is there a bathroom here? Yeah, in the very back corner. This in that way. corner? Okay. All right, I got a few herbs at National Natural National Grocers. Catnip, some more catnip. I ran, I think I ran out. Oats dry, pretty much ran out. This stuff, I have thrown it away in the past. It stinks, this stuff currently stinks. I think I wanna try it with my coffee, give it another chance. I've never really done it with coffee. Juniper, uh, I don't really consume this. I'm gonna try it with coffee to see what the taste is like. And then more of the Hawthorne. There's no gunpowder gray tea at this, this uh, store, I never asked. Alright, so going to Uptown Grocers. If Uptown Grocers does not have any catfish, then I'm going without catfish for the day. Simple as that. Oh, scrape. Welcome to Edmond, a great place to grow. Where can I find a great place to shrink? Once again, the Garmin tried having me drive past the grocery store to, to take another road past it. What a mess. I turned here. At, I, I was thinking it's only Walmart. It's everywhere. You got to assume that the Garmin wants you to pa Say a command. drive past every destination you choose. The Garmin is set up to have you drive past every destination. <laughs> 